my own world of make believe. Kids. What's up, disc golfers? Jake Laputka here. I'm the one that's been kind of editing and putting out these uh, in the bag videos. The Team Infinite members themselves are the ones that are putting out this great content. I'm just the guy that gets it uploaded. So check out their in the bag videos. They have inspired me to make my own in the bag video for the team. So let's do this. I'm going to start off with uh, accessories. I think that's kind of the best thing. Um, got my Infinite Discs waffle towel. These things are sweet. Got to have that in the bag. You can't just have one towel. Oh, I've got this other towel. Karen Anderson from Salt Lake. Thank you. She told me it would be the best towel ever. She was right. This thing has been on my bag ever since I got it. The bag itself, the Innova Adventure Bag. In a tournament, I definitely like this bag. It's simple. Don't have to carry too much. Stuff's falling out of my bag. Also is very comfortable. My wife, Misty, love her to death, likes to caddy for me, and she needs a good comfortable bag. She sits very nicely on the back. Highly recommend trying one of these out. I love this bag. Falling onto the ground, my clipboard has been used many, many a time. Stickers on it from CPSF sticker. I got my name on it. Yeah, love it. Great thing to have for tournament. I carry three minis, which is arguably not enough. I lose them. They stay with me. Three. I got one from my wedding. It's kind of, the sticker's kind of coming off, but... If you were at my wedding, you probably have one of those. I've got my Mean Every Shot Mini. Good story behind this. Hopefully I'll tell that someday. And then got to get the Metal Mini, the Infinite Bomber. Fresh, new this year. Can't wait to use this thing. Maybe uh, throw it at some people. I wouldn't do that. I don't condone violence. This is not a very big stack of discs. I play a simple game. A wide variety of shots. I bring only what's necessary, what's confident for me. Sometimes it's better to throw the unconventional shot that you're confident with than to try to force a shot with a disc that you are not confident with. So everybody starts with putters, so I'm starting with drivers. Number one, anybody who's been playing these C tiers with me in the last few events has seen this disc so many times. This disc has gotten most of the birdies. It's really overstable, not overstable. It's a stable destroyer. It's always gonna fade. This thing, forehand, backhand, everywhere. I've been picking it up on short holes, long holes. This has been my confidence disc. Even when it's like not the right shot, I've been picking up this disc and getting the birdie. Just getting it done. Get it to the basket, get the birdie. That's this disc. Best destroyer in my bag right now. Destroyer, have had this thing forever. This thing was in my bag for 2014 Am Worlds and it's still stuck around. And I have a backup, brand new backup. Parting line, you know what I'm saying, nerds, disc golf nerds, is way high. Kind of gummy, this thing bombs. It's so nice and very special to me. Whole one of the final nine and worlds before I took down the victory. This thing, bought it from Rustin recently and he told me I had to throw it, so I started throwing it and it bombs. This Pro Destroyer is going very far for me. Oh, that's gonna be really good. Oh, no. Picked up this Wraith. It's got this mean dome on it. Check that out. Heartbeat. Very stable. I can throw giant hyzers with this thing. I love it. Great, great disc. The Wraith. Ooh. All right. Fairway drivers. The only fairway driver in my bag, really. T-Bird. Star T-Bird. Throw this a lot for giant 400 plus foot shots. People are like, whoa, what'd you throw there? That was a bomb. I'm like, it was a T-Bird. Very underrated. People think you can't get the distance. T-Bird all day. Chuck this thing super far. You know where it's gonna go. I've learned most of what I've learned in disc golf throwing T-Birds. Best disc out there. You know, they're all the best. Boom, this slab, this clear one. We're gonna have to cut freaking cat. Technical difficulties because my cat is being a cat. Next up, the slab. This thing is very, very overstable, strictly utility. Uh, it's rare that I find myself throwing a normal shot with this. It's usually some crazy cr trick shot, skip shot, something like that. Great disc to have for utility in the bag. I don't throw that disc off the tee because I'm too busy throwing Firebirds. I got my straighter Firebird and my Super Meat Hook 12 time Ken Climo Firebird. This one's the Sexton Firebird down here. Been breaking it in. Everybody hates me for throwing it. It's got this amazing team stamp on it. That's so beautiful. But I've had too many birdies with this thing to not keep throwing it. This thing's amazing. So this thing kind of goes straight a little bit, but I know it's gonna fade. It's still a firebird. 
great compliment to this guy that just doesn't go anywhere. Like I throw this thing and it just fights to the right, just like the slab, but it's not as fast. So I don't get as much action on the green. I like that. So I'll throw this off the tee pad when I, and then I'll use the slab for the utility shots. Whereas I used to just use a Firebird, but that slab is great. Utility, Gator. Don't really have to say much about this. Very, very overstable. Had this forever, forever. Like 2013, I think I got this thing. Gator done, as I always say. DX Rock, old school. Love this thing. It's just slightly stable. Mostly just straight, does whatever you want it to. Nice glide. My go-to all around mid-range. I had a identical one to this in the bag at Worlds. Flat top DX Rock 3. Absolutely love this disc. This is getting beat in. It's starting to be a more understable. I love it. Love this thing very, very much. Luster AVR X3. It's got this puddle top on it, making it very overstable, very low glide, very good in the wind. Fantastic disc for approach shots or just short drives. A little less stable than that, the Ruin. If I want to throw that AVR X3, but I need to be able to shape a shot with it, this Ruin is nice. I can get this baby to go a little straight before it has a dependable fade at the end. Brand new edition. I've been parking everything with this thing. Cohort. Holy cow. I'm probably, after this video, going to go order more of these because I have one and I'm terrified to lose this because it's the color of grass. Now, you know, I don't throw a lot of green, as you can see, with all my discs behind me, but it's going under the basket, so... Gotta keep that going, right? <laughs> oh, man. And last but not least, my putting putters. This, I never throw it. It's basically just there as a backup in case this guy falls off a cliff or whatever. But this is my next money putter after this guy dies. I like to use one putter. Throw it in the basket, don't miss. This thing is amazing. DX AVR 3. Picked one up and I was hooked immediately. I probably found my putter forever. I love this thing. I'm banging putts left and right. Everyone says, hey, are you not getting much glide out of them? And I say, check out these 40, 50 foot jump putts I'm dropping. I love this thing. Don't knock until you try it. I absolutely love the DX AVR3 for putting, so. We did it. Anyways, that's my in the bag. I can see why most of the team members went over the five minute limit because that is ridiculously short. I can't talk about my Frisbees in that long. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you on the next one.